hello students uh, welcome to the lecture series uh, on uh, uh, welcome to the lecture series on number system and uh, we are doing the topic number system arithmetic and myself saurav maheshwari assistant professor government women engineering college ajmer and uh, the topic that we will do in today's lecture is floating point values conversion okay till now uh, till now what we have seen uh, that uh, we can convert uh, various numbers that are given to us into various number systems for the purpose of uh, representation okay now uh, there may be a question in your mind that the data that is available is not always comes in integer form right so it is all it is not always that uh, the data is in integer form right so for inti uh, when the data is not in uh, integer form so uh, the data is in data is in uh, uh, floating point value okay so the floating point value i will take a simple example that is 40 suppose uh, this is the number that is uh, simple for uh, 42.75 okay so this is the simple decimal number which is in floating point okay the decimal number the decimal point that we have uh, represents our uh, uh, that the number is a floating point okay so what do you mean by floating point it is the integer and there is a uh, floating point okay so uh, the method to convert the floating point before that you have to understand the place value okay so uh, as you know that the place value of this 42 is nothing but nothing but this has the 10th is to power 0 place value and that has the 10th is to power 1 place value that is ones what we take ones and that is tens okay so but uh, for our number system purpose and our Uh, uniformity purpose uh, 10 raised to power 0 and 10 raised to power minus 1 now what happens with this okay 7 and 5 okay now this 42.75 that the place value of this 0.7 you have to uh, check that that the uh, place value of this 7 is 10 raised to power minus 1 and this place value of 5 is 10 raised to power minus Two. So as we move towards the right of the decimal, the uh, right of the decimal, the uh, the place values uh, is in uh, minus. Uh, it increases in the negative side, and as you move right towards the decimal, the place values increase in the positive side. Okay. So this is what the thing that you have to remember. and uh, when we do the conversions then it would be very important to remember the place values okay so 42.75 we will uh, convert it into binary suppose our objective is to convert it into binary right so to convert it into binary we have to perform okay so to convert this number into binary we have to perform two steps okay the first step that we will do is this for for this integral part that is 42 in decimal okay and then we will do the second part that is 0.75 in decimal okay so 42 in decimal can be converted you know the method that is to uh, division method multiple division method and keeping the Uh, keeping the uh, remainders as a binary digit okay so i want to convert it into binary i would do repetitive division 21 0 is left 2 is this 10 is left 1 is left 2 5 then nothing is left 2 2 4 1 is left and then finally 2 is divided 1 is there and nothing is left okay so the binary conversion of 42 uh, in decimal is 1 0 Uh, one zero one zero okay one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero in reverse direction okay so it is the binary conversion of this particular forty two okay for point seven five okay the digit after the decimal we take the multi we do the multiplication with the base this is the difference that comes between the uh, integer part and the integer part and the uh, uh, decimal part okay for the decimal part we do multiple 
division okay with two okay and uh, we keep on doing this division you will see that uh, how we are doing this division uh, we do this division this gives us 1.5 okay and 1.5 we keep only the integer part okay the integer part we keep over here and we take the decimal part for the further multiplication now 0.5 into 2 that is 1.0 and we take integer part as 1 okay so 1.0 and we will take the integer part as uh, 1 okay now uh, uh, this is 0 0.0 into 2 it gives you 0 okay so we we have to stop here right okay and one more important thing to note that the order of recording these digits is from top to down. Here the recording of digits was from bottom to up. Here the recording is from top to down. Okay. So if I combine the result of both of these processes, so it would give me 101010 point. Okay. And I will write starting from here that is 11. Okay. So that is 11. No, this zero is not to be included. Okay, any zeros in the rightmost part does not make any sense, right? So uh, this one zero one zero one zero point one one is the decimal e is the binary equivalent of this particular decimal number. Okay, should I take one more example for that? I will take example in another, uh, or we will convert this forty two point seven five into a different number system okay you know different number system let us convert this 42.75 in a hexadecimal number system okay now we want to calculate this okay so 42 i don't think you would face any problem to convert 42 into a hexadecimal number system okay so that is 2 okay, that is 2 and 10 is left so we will write a okay and uh, that is 2a okay we will note down in reverse order so that is 2a 2a in hexadecimal is the conversion fine and now we will convert the 0.75 into uh, 0.75 into hexadecimal this would give me uh, 16580 and uh, 120 okay and 2 so it would give me 12 right so 12 is there right so 12 is 12 can be written as 12 12 can be written as c okay so that is c digit in the hexadecimal that is 12.0 it is 12.0 so you will take 0, 0.0 into 6 so that is 0 so only digit that is required is c okay so that is c in 16 and instead of writing c you will write point C and if we combine them both so that is 2a point C in hexadecimal is equivalent to writing 42.75 okay so this is the method to convert any any decimal digit to hexadecimal digit okay in floating point number okay now I will do the reverse process also and now the role of place values comes right so I want to convert this binary binary digit okay into binary digit into decimal okay so I have to know the place value right we know the place value that this has the place value of 2 raised to power 0 this has place value of 2 raised to power 1 this has place value of 2 raised to power 2 2 raised to power 3 2 raised to power 4 and 2 raised to power 5 similarly in the right side of decimal the place value starts from 2 raised to power minus 1 2 raised to power minus 2 okay and the same thing happens here this has the 16 raised to power 0 16 raised to power 1 and from the decimal side it is 16 raised to power minus 1 okay so to convert this number into decimal i would simply take the summation of the of 32 plus 8 plus uh, 32 plus 8 plus 2 okay and plus now plus is 1 multiply by 1 upon 2 plus 1 multiply 1 upon 4 okay do you know 32 8 40 42 plus 1 into 1 upon 2 is 0. 0.5 and 1 into 1 upon 4 is 0. 0.25 right and 42.75 the summation is 
0.75 when it is in decimal. So 42.75 we started from here. So we can reverse check also the answer, right? And uh, for uh, this uh, converting this, you will take uh, this is 16 into 2, okay, plus uh, A, okay, A is simply 10 plus C is uh, uh, 12, 12 in uh, upon 16, right? 1 upon 16. 16 minus 1 is 1 upon 16. And if uh, there is another other digits, then we have to take similar higher place value. 1 upon 16 square, 1 upon 16 cube and so on. Okay. So that is 32 plus 10 plus uh, that is, this is 3 by 4 and 3 by 4 you know 42 plus 0.75 that is 42.75 in decimal. So this is the process to convert any uh, any uh, hexadecimal so this is this also gives you a reverse check possibility available here also so uh, this is the method that uh, you have to follow for converting of floating point values to different number systems from each other okay and uh, there is no interconversion method directly available uh, for uh, uh, other number systems but uh, the pairing systems and uh, you have to convert uh, when you have octal system you have to convert uh, to the if you have suppose a uh, number written in octal right one zero uh, is written in binary and uh, you want to convert it in octal right so uh, you have to if this number is in binary and you want to convert it into octal so what you will do you will start making pair of three from uh, from uh, right from left to right in the uh, from left to right here and from right to left right to left in this direction okay so three pair three and remaining is there okay so you have to take zeros so we pair we pair like this to convert into octal for the from binary and here you have to pair from left to right okay so this is conversion from binary to uh, octal the same if you make pair of four okay pair of four for uh, hexadecimal conversion here you made pair of three now you can make pair of four so we can also convert binary to octal and binary to hexadecimal so this should complete at uh, if you have to uh, if you have to give the reverse conversion that for uh, every digit of octal you have to take three digits of uh, binary and for every digit of hexadecimal you have to give four digits of binary right so this by this way you can convert now i am giving you some practice questions for this topic okay now you have to convert uh, you have to solve these practice questions and also the reverse checking of these practice questions okay so first you have to do this right so uh, you can also decide a amount of accuracy in the right side of digits okay so suppose uh, uh, either you can, you may be given in the question that what accuracy you have to reach so for uh, up to reach up to okay because this multiplication that you you do this multiplication this multiplication can be infinite also okay you may find that this zero never comes okay so for that particular condition you have to stop after a, a number of digits for that accuracy is required okay if you require accuracy up to six digits then you divide you multiply only for six times right okay so this is the first question uh, the second question would be three four eight okay three four eight uh, point uh, uh, 2 5 in hexadecimal and C uh, that is A B C point five zero in hexadecimal B is uh, 11101.111 uh, in binary you have to convert it into uh, you have to convert it into decimal and uh, you have to uh, you have to convert uh, this into uh, you have to convert this into octal okay and you have to convert this into uh, you have to convert this into hexadecimal okay so this is the thing that is required and uh, for this octal
octal you have to convert it in octal okay now how we are going to perform okay this question how you are going to perform this is hexadecimal first you have to go to the binary of it and then you have to go for octal for it okay and for this particular question you can directly convert by multiplication method to uh, to the decimal for this you have to go for division to get to the hexadecimal number okay and uh, for this particular uh, well, for this particular question for this particular question you can directly do pairing of three okay i am going to give you one more question uh, suppose you have four three seven point six two in octal and you have to convert it into decimal right so these are the numbers that you have to these are the practice questions that you have to perform and by this uh, lecture uh, we complete our number system and then we will proceed to our next topics of the uh, fundamentals of computer and c programming thank you